Give me, you can talk to me a little time. Give right. me your full name. Give me, uh, tell me who you are in the show. All right. And then tell me your, uh, your title and your company. All right. Hey everybody, Frank TZD here. I am once again at Cowtown Studios out here in Peoria, Arizona with Kerry Davis, AKA Pocket Doc. Big name's Pocket Doc, because I'm about that big, fit in the pocket. And for the, uh, for the show here, I'm gonna be uh, Doc. Excellent. Awesome. So you're the medic. I am. Were you in the military? Yeah, I was a uh, uh, medic, flight medic in the Air Force, and then uh, worked as a civilian paramedic and have been a critical care and ER nurse since 2003. The Would you be technically the CEO? Are yeah. you CFO? Are you the MFO? Uh, MFCEO. There you go, MFCEO yeah. of uh, Dark Angel Medical, which makes the Dark Angel Medical Kit, which is what you see here, a trauma kit designed with a tourniquet and all the necessary items to keep people alive. Stop the bleeding, start the breathing. That's it. Dark Angel Medical, uh, we provide uh, trauma kits, like this one right here, uh, uh, it's called the Direct Action Response Kit and several other kits, and we also provide training to uh, people throughout the United States, government agencies, civilians, uh, on trauma training. It shows how it's how it's mounted on plate carriage and how low profile it is. That's a big thing with guys. They don't want anything getting caught up. It's about the size of two M4 mags. Uh, you know, you've got a tourniquet, you've got shears on the inside. You've got a vacuum sealed insert with a lot of different stuff in there. How far can you get as a first responder in the field with you know serious wounds with something like that? Well, we've got 19 confirmed saves with it so far, so it's uh it does pretty good, I guess. You have so many cool taglines. What was the <laughs> booger thing? Keep your booger hook off the bang switch. Yeah, that's awesome. So he, uh, he's been nice enough all the way back to season one yeah. to promote us out to his audience. And he donated, Mark Goldman in season one had a Dark Angel medical kit on him, yeah. uh, right in front of his, his kit. And that's why he's back again. He's uh, been a mass sponsor to us. And not only that, he's just a cool dude. So tell me, how did you become uh, a partner of Black season two? I saw some of the uh, some of the stuff that Frank had put out on, on season one as far as uh, Kickstarter, and we we started working with him then, and then uh, just kind of snowballed and asked us to come out here with uh, with season two since we were sponsored. That's excellent. Yeah. How um, how is this partnership going? What's what's good about it for you guys from Dark Angel's perspective? What's, what's great about it? Well, it's great marketing. I mean, I mean, plain and simple, it's great marketing for us, and it, it shows our product and and uh, and the the light it's supposed to be used in. So pretty cool for us. Uh, I got to see him at Shot Show for the first time last year. He's this. He's just a just an awesome dude, and we're happy to have you here. Thanks, Frank. Yeah, man. Pleasure how, to be how, here, man. Yeah, how are things? You're you're pumped? Yeah, it's good. Are you having a good time? I am. Good. Despite the heat, it's still fun. I turned it down a little bit. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I turned it down from like hell number one to sub hell. Yeah. All right. Sub hell. That's always our plan. Personally, what is it? What is it like to be in the show and be an actor? Hot. No, <laughs> no, it's it's fun. It's really it's really fun. It's uh, interesting. I've never seen the, the behind the scenes aspects of how things uh, work out in, in the film industry. So it's it's an educational experience for me. It's pretty cool. Cool. Uh, what's it like today? Hotter than Satan's butt crack, man. Yeah, it's hot with out all here. This on, does this help? Does this worse? Oh man, it's it's. Uh, I mean, having worn this stuff when I was in the military, it's you, something you're like, God, now I know why. Why, why I didn't like wearing that crap. It's a it's a big reminder, but definitely something to be conscious of out here, especially with uh, as hot as it is and everybody's running around in a full kit. Everybody's working really hard, really hard to make it as realistic as possible. And given the circumstances we're in, I think I think the job's uh, been fantastic, actually. And I mean, my CQB experience isn't as is uh, you know the breadth and depth is not like uh, somebody like Max, you know. Uh, but it's uh, it's definitely uh, a lot more. It's the attention to detail is is there, and that's important. So, uh, but he's uh, obviously you can see here he's a saw gunner for us, and he's supporting the team, and we're going to have him and. GT, who's the sticker up CEO, they're gonna come around the corner and they're gonna do a little crossfire and catch this other guy, so. Give the smallest guy the biggest weapon. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so thanks for being here, brother. Thanks, man, appreciate it, man. All right.